Tower 6 and 40 here. <clears throat> um, quick update. Um, what I've done to this off road lawnmower is I have a um, 4 inch pulley on the motor and a 5 inch on the rear that makes a good ratio. So, belt has plenty of tension in the world. It never slips in the mud anymore. The belt's fine. Everything's alright. I'm glad this thing gets grip. It's just awesome. And, uh, yeah. It gets grip in the mud. This has no keyway in it. But I set the set screws in there. I can turn it slowly. I put set screws in there. <coughs> and, yeah, and bolted it on there. Where it be centered. Get these little, um, slash washer keyway things. And yeah, <coughs> basically, that's what I have on it. And I have a bolt connected to it. And that bolt keeps it steady. Oh. And I got grass on it. I've been driving through some fields. <laughs> <coughs> Drove through the back field back there. Now, this belt has good tension. It's just this idler pulley's worn out, but I decided to use the idler pulley while it's worn out, but. It's wearing down my belt a little bit, not much, so I'm not complaining. This belt is tough. It will last for a little while until I get the money to get a new one. And I got the self-adjusting tension pulley right here. I really didn't need to, two of them, because you know, I just need that pulley. That that's just gonna break. Just gonna break off. So. Bye guys, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed the mud video, and um, talk to you guys soon, like, subscribe, favorite, and comment, bye guys, talk to y'all later. Trench fishing pulleys back there, 5 inch, 4 inch, and it never slips, that's why I'm happy about.